Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, looking at Facebook on the daily and weekly time frame. So this candlestick upper wick yesterday didn't occur. That's a fluke trade and they'll likely remove that from the chart. So disregard that. What occurred today is a confirmation of support. The low of the week was 117.82. The low today, 117.86. So bulls defending that support area, buying the dip. And we are now looking at key support, that level. If we lose it, we're coming down to 115.84, which is a must hold for the bulls in the short term. If we break 115.84, we're going to start filling this gap and that will be a bearish development. So that shows the importance of 117.82. We can see we kept the 10 day moving average support at 118.28, but we lost the middle Bollinger Band support of 118.60. So the bulls do have a little bit of work ahead of them. The resistance is 120 psychological. That's where we topped out this week. And if we look at the weekly chart, that is where we have topped out the past six weeks, unable to close above 120. If we see a close above 120 on the daily chart, the odds of setting new all-time highs are significant. That all-time high is 121.08. So a close above 120, we can expect likely all-time highs and a close or a break below 117.82. We can likely expect a test of 115.84 support. So that's pretty much as simply as I can break down the key levels to be watching, make sure and check out my SPY video as what the overall market is doing definitely has weight in what these big name stocks are doing. And although we have some conflicting signals in SPY, the daily and weekly chart are signaling potential for a pullback. So want to be aware of that fact. Obviously not going to make trades based on it, not confident in that pullback. But if we start seeing some weakness in the S&P 500 early next week, it will make a lot more sense and we will be looking for a 115.84 support test in Facebook. So we'll keep checking in each day as usual. See you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. The Chart Guys community has compiled trader tips from dozens of traders over the last year and put together a free ebook you can access by clicking the button and entering your email. Have a wonderful night.